Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Thanks for joining me on TCM, where tonight, in honor of Hispanic Heritage Month, we have a lineup of stories set along the U.S.-Mexico border, beginning with a powerful drama from 1983, written and directed by Gregory Nava, El Norte. The story centers on two young people, a brother and sister from an indigenous Guatemalan family forced to flee Guatemala under brutally violent circumstances. Seeking a better life, they decide to make their way to the north, El Norte in Spanish, to the United States through Mexico. In creating the film, Gregory Nava was drawing on his own personal history. The child of a Mexican and Basque family, Nava grew up in California with relatives who lived just across the border. He often crossed to visit them and was struck by the stark contrast between how people lived on either side. After graduating from UCLA, where he met his first wife, Anna Thomas, Nava decided to explore those contrasts in a film, with Thomas serving as co-writer and producer. From the beginning, they knew this would be a hard sell in Hollywood. In order to get films made about Latin America, Nava said, you have to have Americans at the center of the story. It bothers me that all the major characters are American and you don't get to know the people to whom things are really happening down there. To tell this story without making compromises for studio bosses, Nava and Thomas decided to produce it independently. For the lead roles, they cast two newcomers, Zaida Silvia Gutierrez and David Villalpando, both Mexican stage actors making their film debuts. The gamble worked. The movie went on to earn an Oscar nomination for Best Original Screenplay. It also earned high praise from critics, with Roger Ebert calling it a grapes of wrath for our time. From 1983, this is El Norte. Director Gregory Nava and producer Anna Thomas were determined to make El Norte look and feel authentic, though that presented a whole host of challenges. For one thing, it meant working outside of the traditional Hollywood system because they were certain that if they accepted money from a studio, executives would demand changes to the script or the cast. It took Nava and Thomas two years, but they finally secured funding from PBS that allowed them to begin production on their own terms. But there were still considerable challenges. While filming scenes on location in Mexico, they encountered real threats that almost put an end to the film altogether. At one point, the cinematographer was held up at gunpoint for the negative. Accounts vary, but either the production manager or the accountant was kidnapped, only released after a ransom was paid. Nava also had to pay to get the negative back before the team relocated to finish the shoot in California. Ahead tonight, a film noir from 1949 directed by Anthony Mann, Border Incident is next on TCM.